Smart eyewear, such as Google Glass, have become increasingly popular in recent years. However, with a very small input area, text entry for these devices is extremely difficult. Other options, such as voice input, could be error-prone and socially awkward. The recent swipe board technique supports eyes-free text input on ultra-small devices, allowing users to enter characters using two swipes or taps. The first swipe specifies a region. A second swipe is used to select the character. Swipeboard is target agnostic, which means the exact location of a touch or swipe does not matter. Further, the gestures of this technique can be performed on ultra-small input surfaces. Together, these properties make Swipeboard a promising candidate for text entry on smart eyewear. In this paper, we explore the feasibility of adapting the Swipeboard technique to a Google Glass unit using its side touchpad. Our initial implementation of the Swipeboard technique on Google Glass showed promising results. Here we see the user typing the phrase, this is Swipeboard. However, our initial observations indicated that the diagonal gestures may be difficult due to the form factor of the touchpad. Often, they are incorrectly interpreted as vertical or horizontal strokes. In a first study, we test a user's ability to perform Swipeboard's nine atomic gestures, eight directional strokes, and a tap on a Google Glass side touchpad. Our data shows that while these gestures were possible, they were indeed error prone. The expected error rate across different users is 6%, meaning there will be one recognition error for every eight character entries. Swipe zone divides the touchpad into three zones. A strip of tape allows users to distinguish the three zones through tactile feedback. Swipe zone eliminates diagonal strokes by replacing them with zone-specific vertical strokes. Swiping up and down in the front zone selects the top left and bottom left regions. Swiping up and down in the middle zone selects the top center and bottom center regions. Swiping up and down in the back zone selects the top right and bottom right regions. The other keyboard regions can be accessed using the original tap and horizontal swipes. Our comparison indicated that after a one-hour study, participants could perform more efficiently with the swipe zone technique, achieving text entry speeds of eight words per minute. 